This is Melissa reporting from the storm of the decade. Yes, people, the power went out. The James is upstairs snoring, and here I am. It's 15 to 2 in the morning, and I can't sleep. I'm here listening to my scanner. I put batteries in it. I don't know how long it will last. I'm playing Spider Solitaire. I've already whooped it one time. The James just now hollered to me from upstairs. Hold on. I'll be back. Hey everybody, it's Sunday afternoon. We still have no power. Still got my same clothes on. Thank God I took a bath. James didn't take a bath and he's dying to take a bath. <laughs> have no way to heat water. Uh, there are still, uh, 70% of my county still has no power, and it's bad all over the state, southern West Virginia, and all over on the east side. It's bad everywhere. Um, uh, we do have heat, sporadically. What James did, we did have a kerosene heater, and uh, we had never used it before. We just got it in cases of emergencies. And so uh, James went down the road. Yeah, he's got a four-wheel drive so he could get out. He got out yesterday and he had to wait in line to get kerosene. And they're saying on the radio that there's a kerosene shortage because everybody's buying it up. He couldn't get another. He wanted to get 10 gallon. He only got five gallons. Now, my sister's got kerosene too, but between us, if we have to go, uh, we also heard it, it may be the end of the week. It may be Christmas before we get the power. So, she's only got 15 gallons. So, I mean, between us, we might be able to make it. What James and I are doing is we are turning the kerosene heater on and then warming up. It only warms up uh, one room real good. And it takes the chill off the downstairs a little bit. But we're turning it off. We're leaving it off at night because we're under blankets and stuff. But going without the internet's killing me. <laughs> and the bad thing, too, is the stuff in my freezer is starting to unthaw. Now, we do have a little grill that uses Coleman canisters, but we only got one canister. So... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Right now, the meat is not all the way thawed. Some of it is like wieners and things like that. But we do have a way to cook a little bit, but not big amounts of food. I don't know. We, we may be throwing out a lot of stuff. Right now, we've got the milk and cheese and things like that out in our garage because it's about 30 degrees outside. Thank God that it's only that cold. If it was in the teens, we'd be in hurting. We'd be really hurting. Uh, we have water, um, uh, have plenty of candles and things, but the problem is, is we don't have a lot of kerosene and we don't have a lot of ways to cook the meat and things that are going to spoil if it doesn't, the power doesn't come out on. What's killing me the most is the internet. <laughs> oh, I'm addicted. I told my sister it was like quitting smoking cigarettes. That's how bad it is. But I don't know when I'll be able to post this video. Um, I only have a finite amount of batteries. That's another thing. I can't listen to the radio all the time or my scanner all the time because I need to conserve batteries. And the same thing with this uh, camcorder. So uh, I'll try to document things. James right now is getting ready to go outside. And uh, you're supposed to have special containers to put kerosene in, but you can't find any. So he's going to go try to find some kind of containers and maybe tomorrow morning be able to travel some distance somewhere, someplace to get more kerosene. So I don't know. Y'all pray for us. And I'll be back. This is Melissa reporting and cold and snowbound and emergency situations up yeah, here. Over-exaggerating a little bit. Yeah, over-exaggerating a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but we are in a state of emergency in West Virginia. Virginia. All right. I'll be back. Bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Day three of the decade of the storm, storm of the decade goes. James and I are going to try to go out this morning, try to find us some kerosene. Still no power, no heat. Well, we have kerosene, but got to get some more kerosene. There's a shortage, but uh, we're doing okay. 
trying to keep hope alive. Uh, uh, there's a lot of people, almost everybody, uh, on a 17 mile stretch at the main hauler up here, um, uh, does not have power. So that's thousands of people still yet, and, um, and now, you know, I thought my, my Sunlink phone, it went out, of course, when the power went out. I had eight hour battery, but it didn't last eight hours. But now the regular phones are out too. They went out Saturday, so I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, they're saying it may be the 28th. I hope to God it's not the 28th. I will be crazy. But we're making it. We're doing okay. And uh, miss you all. I hope I get to post this tonight or tomorrow. But if I don't, I'll try to make another video tomorrow. All right, everybody. See you later. Hopefully. This is Melissa. Still cold. Still tired of no power. Up in the holler. Bye, everybody. Hello, everybody. This is day four of the storm of the decade. Still no power. Thank God we have water. But it's ice cold water. The James went out and got kerosene yesterday. It took him six hours to find kerosene. He had to go miles and miles and miles to get it. But he got some. I was worried sick about him. He said the roads were terrible. We had to go over mountains. and He went way over on the other side of West Virginia to try to get some. and Everybody was about sold out. But he got us some. And he came home victorious. Everybody's been showing what's in the refrigerator. Well, I thought I would show you what's in mine. A cabbage, apples, onions, nothing. I guess we've lost just about everything we owned in the refrigerator. I just cleaned it out today and I'm going to throw it away because I don't know how long that cabbage will last. Cabbage will probably do good. I don't know how long the butter lasts, but I'm, I got some up in the freezer, which I cleaned out yesterday, but I had three trays of ice up there and um, some little ice packs, but they're all melted today, so uh, the turkey and things I bought for Christmas and everything I bought for Christmas, what we did was we took them out, and James, I might have told you yesterday, I had it in the freezer upstairs, which we didn't have much in the freezer upstairs, and we lost everything but the turkey upstairs, and we may lose the turkey, because the day is going to be 40 degrees, but we... Yes, yeah, what James said, there's hardly nothing, we'll get some more, you know, but um, we're not the only ones that's lost everything in the refrigerators and stuff, you know, but we're doing good, we're surviving. I may be a pioneer woman, I don't know. <laughs> Too hideous to get on camera. <laughs> not taking baths. Not good. I'm tempted to turn on the shower and just step in. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, it's that James says scream. <laughs> but anyhow, I want to show you my refrigerator. And give you an update. And James and I are doing good. We got food. We got heat. We got cold water. We got a radio and a scanner. Got I bought new batteries yesterday. So we're good to go. Good to go. We're just waiting any day, any minute, any second for the electricity to come on. I may talk to you again tomorrow. This is Melissa reporting from the storm of the decade. Bye, everybody.